Hello, good morning, uh, beautiful world. Uh, greetings from uh, West Virginia. Human's health versus technology. Now, everything today grows exponentially. The technology grows very fast in all fields, education, science, and uh, as well as uh, telecommunication, computer, internet, evolution of information, freedom of information, uh, even politically. So everything in this modern life of 21st century grows exponentially. But one thing is missing. When you look at the healthcare system in overall, look at the statistics of health. It goes the opposite. So it doesn't go side by side symmetrically. It goes this way, whereas healthcare goes the opposite completely. And it, why? So, for, for example, if you look at the statistics of uh, diseases, chronic diseases, and so on, it's uh, frightening. So, what's going on? Something's going wrong. So, let's uh, quickly take a, a quick look. We believe that uh, it. Technology, exponential growth of technology, need to go side by side with the healthcare system. So the reason it doesn't go together because human depending completely on the, his overall health, and when you talk about overall health, holistic health, the PEMS health, the physical, emotional, mental, and the spiritual, fully rely on. Uh, foreign invaders, foreign dependency, like uh, for example drugs and so on, to maintain the healthcare system. So the human body is so sensitive, anything that enters the body, it, uh, it may be good, but it leaves uh, complications in the long run due to the presence of chemical contents. Now, well, if you go back to the old age, during Stone Age, you find that human, when he used to get sick, he started to look for solution to get, find a cure for his complication, infection or uh, get of sickness and so on. So what he found, he started to use herbal, mix of herbal and so on. And from there, he started to develop evolution until the scientific research of uh, medicine came up like penicillin and so on. In one way, it was good to protect the world against mass diseases, pandemic and so on, one side. But on the other side, then we have the chemical in our body leave another problem. So that's recently, we, uh, scientists found that uh, drugs, they only solve the symptom, but not the root cause of a disease. Now, if you realize that human being, how he was formed in the womb of his mother, the first creation and growth, fetal growth of human being actually occurs naturally, naturally, without interference of anybody, any foreign body. But naturally, specifically, some natural substances, water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy, and they're all found in through the amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid actually is uh, hot water, 99% of it. Water and uh, the temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius, which is one degree higher than the mother's body temperature at normal time. So it's hot and it's water. For the reason of that the baby inside the womb of the mother, the cells to grow exponentially until the time of birth, fully rely on these natural fuels. So the moment human is born, then he's disconnected from this world, awaiting that continuation by support of the mother. So that means the mother need to start to emphasize the importance of giving the baby hot water at 40 degrees Celsius. And until the time of maturity, means the human being at the adult need to consume hot water at 50 degrees Celsius. And following the therapeutic methods of drinking hot water, which is equivalent approximate to not mean not less a minimum of three liters per day of course that amount may increase depends on various factors but at least minimum should be three liters per day and divide on the entire day 
split on the entire day. So in this case, the cells of the human body maintain these fuels by hacking the body. We coined this word of hacking more than hydrating. So hydrating is to make the the body absorbing water, but hydrating is to make the body absorbing water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy, and all these through the hot water therapy or aqua revitalized therapy. So in this case, um, humans' health can be maintained very well, and we can see the exponential growth of uh, the humans' healthcare system side by side with the exponential growth of technology. In this case, that uh, the world population can live a healthy life, healthier life today. Most especially with the modern life that we enjoy the modern life from one side, but we pay the price of uh, the side effects like uh, the radiations, uh, food preservative, uh, chemicals in food, uh, of activity and so on. So uh, maintaining hot water vitalized therapy, hot water therapy and the modalities because uh, drinking method is one method but there are other modalities. You can maintain your overall health, uh, the physical, emotional and mental and spiritual health. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.